Okay, so it's Thursday now. I'm actually vlogging because I got Thursday, Friday off. Um, it's around dinner time. What time would you say it was, Kirsty? Um, about 12. It's about 12 then, yeah, so about dinner time. Um, went into town this morning. Had an eye test. They told me that my right eye is does have some issues, but I don't actually need glasses. But we're not sure because I'm getting headaches. So but we've, we've booked another, another appointment, but with a different optician just to see what they say. Um, I think I do need glasses. I always needed glasses growing up. I just never really wanted to wear them. Um, I think that's a kid thing in it and stuff like that. So, but now I'm older, more mature. It's one of them things. If I need glasses, I need glasses. And I am having headaches, like I say, so I think it's one of those things I do need. Um, so we got that done. Um, got some little bits that we needed and stuff. Yeah. Kirsty treated me to an early Father's Day present, or should I say Tyler did. Um, which you'll get to see later on, I think. Um, mm -hmm. But now we're just going to go get some dinner. We're going to get some McDonald's. Yes. And then we're setting off to my mum and dad's on the East Coast. And that's where we're going to be for the weekend. Okay, so we're in Haunter now. Kirsty's having a cig. She's trying to hide it from you guys. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. <laughs> just took us about two hours to get here, so we're just stretching. I'm going to go get some Tyler some some swimming nappies. They can wear with Swim like naps. nappies, that, <laughs> but they're waterproof. Because normal ones just disintegrate. Trust me, we know, because you put one in his washer one time. That was fun, weren't it, Kirsty? No, not to clean it, wasn't it? <laughs> so we're going to get him some, some swimming nappies. Um, and then we'll set straight off to my mum and dad's. We're only about 15 minutes away from theirs now, so not bad at all. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Medicine nappies. Tyler's in four plus nappies. But the little swimmers are three to four, or five to six. And the sizes are totally different. What do you think? We'll go with the smaller ones. It's not so big. Okay, so we've got to my mum and dad's. We've been here a while now, just chilled out. I'm going to give you the tour of, of my dad's crib garden. It's proud of this garden, bless him. So like this is where you come out the patio doors from the front room. And they've got like a an inlay of it there. They've got the sofa with the canopy on the top. The canopy on the top so if it's raining they can still sit out and enjoy the garden. Um, over this side nothing much to see apart from like the big log cabin. That's all cool inside. I'll quickly show you that. It's not not used for anything really but it could be pretty cool there's electric in it too as well so uh, this is like where it, what it uses is his storage bit really so for in the corner over there it's pretty big it's just not used it's a lot of unused space um but it'll come in useful we've only been here about a year so in this house so i'm sure he'll find something for it in this corner of the garden he's got his big gazebo up with his jacuzzi and it's all it's all nice and warm and ready for later on when we get some beers on the go and then over there he's got like an eating area a bench for the table kind of peer over the top grandma and tyler swinging over there on the swing <laughs> he's enjoying that kirstie over there lovely garden and then if you look this way it's just fields doesn't get much better than that does it look at my dad look at my dad's proud little face over here <laughs> you can just fetch one ah. you complain if i fetch one when five minutes later you needed them all you're going to put them that way up there, look, right? And then when the wind blows, ah, get I'll get tears. stabbed in back. Just that's dangerous. <laughs> Amelia's back from school, a little sister now. <laughs> so we're just chilling out in the garden. Dad's got the barbecue on. <laughs> Tyler's just, just playing <laughs> with Grandma at the moment. <laughs> Tracking his toys out there and stuff. Yeah, so. Look at that. It's a lovely, beautiful day. Oh, I showed him around. So, <laughs> just, just enjoying it. Just enjoying it, taking it in. I think the brother's coming down tomorrow or Saturday morning. So that'll be good too. Um, Tyler's chair's so been washed down. It's drying out in the sunshine. Because he's just gruffy like a boy just like his dad just like his dad was just like i still am i'm a menace look at that beautiful doing a good job there dad thank you 
So we, we've got a grown up swimming pool, but we, we've got a, a, a smaller swimming pool for Tyler. Granddad, grand, granddad bought it and, and grandma over there. So the guy up the road from my dad that's just moved in has got a full size Dalek. We gotta check this out. He's even gonna open up the gate so we can go in and look. Awesome. That is cool. Look at that. That is, isn't it? You can actually go inside it and it moves. That's awesome. That is cool. What does it have inside? Oh, everything's it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> so we got in there and the guy's not only got a full size dad that you can get in and move around in he's also got like a, a police phone box do you know TARDIS. from Doctor Who the TARDIS um, and he's getting the outside blue angel. phone box and when you go inside there's all the computer in there and stuff you'll see it in the vlog because I managed to capture that as well he was cool with that as in and to check that out he even unlocked it for us Okay, so just chilling out for an hour, waiting for it to go a bit duller. Lost the drone earlier, but there's LEDs on the bottom and it did land propeller down, otherwise it would have flown back up. In the middle of a farmer's field, but we've got kind of a roundabouts area where we think it is, so we're going to wait till it gets a bit darker, get out, get dried off and go check that out, but we're just going to chill out for a bit now. Leaving, we're, we're currently arranging something very big and important, me and Kirsty. And my dad, well not so much my dad, but my mum's helping Kirsty. They've been stressing me out with that all afternoon, <laughs> so just leaving them to finish organising that off. We're not going to tell you what it is yet, but me and Kirsty are both going to sit down and do a video at some point and, and let you know exactly what it is we're planning to do, but it's big, it's big, so leaving them to that. Stress me out for enough and we're just going to chill out, have a beer. Okay, so earlier I lost my drone. Um, went over the houses, over this way, which is just farmer's fields. So what we're doing is we're just going to look over the field, see if we can see any flashing LEDs that's on the bottom of the uh, drone. Hopefully we'll, we'll find it, but it's not looking so good so far. Problem we have is this so much the field starts all the way across there and then there's a field at the other side as well it could be anywhere in there we just can't see anything man it's gone it's gone 